Hey guys, so this week I'm going to be talking about the ACTs. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, but yeah, the main reason I'm talking about the ACT is because uh, I recently took the ACT a couple weeks ago and I know probably in a f year or a few years a lot of you will be taking it, so I thought why not talk about it and give you guys a little info about what it's about. Okay, so... The ACT is a test that a lot of people have to take in order for like to go to college so colleges can see what it is. And there's like a language part, um, a reading part, science part, and math part. And now there is a work case too, but don't worry, the work case is super easy. Like everyone finishes it with 20 minutes left and just goes to bed. But the ACT itself is actually pretty hard. You gotta make sure you time it like pretty well and make sure you do okay because it can be pretty scary so in the math for the first test you take i think is the language test like the english test itself and there's like 75 questions you got to answer them in 45 minutes or something like that and that one is really hard to get you gotta like answer them as fast as you can i didn't even get to finish that section because i wasn't able to answer all the questions and then but it's pretty easy questions. Kind of skim the passages because there are passages to them. Or like read around the qu what the question's asking about because they have them numbered on the passage. And then for the math test, it's pretty easy math. It goes to like pre calc I think. And it like kind of gradually gets harder but it kind of can be all over the place depending on your math skills as like a whole and there's only 60 questions for that but you do get an hour to answer them so it's like a minute per question that one for me was easy but i'm also kind of a math whiz and then for the reading test honestly skim the passages it's probably a lot easier to do it if you skim the passages because they're so long and you only have 35 minutes to answer 45 questions and read four passages so just like Skim the passages and then answer the questions and go back and look at the passage if you need to. And then for the science part, there's seven like little things where you have to like look over that are about studies and then like questions for them. You have 35 minutes to do that one too and there's 45 questions for that too. But it's honestly not that hard because it's like kind of middle school science. So it's not that hard. But yeah, it's kind of an interesting test it's really quiet and boring because you can't do anything after you literally just sit there and like stare straight ahead of you or look around the room and like or just stare at the ceiling and count how many holes there are in the ceiling because you can't bring any electronics in you can't bring any books you can't bring anything except for a pencil an eraser and a calculator that's all you can take they do give you a break though and give you snacks because you can't take your own food either and then for help, there's a book. There can be like books or you can go on the ACT site that helps you with like looking at stuff and like figuring out how to take tests and spray time out and answering questions better. So if you like find anything like that, I'd recommend looking at it and like reading it because it will help you a lot. Not with like the questions itself because you never know what the questions are, but like just answering them and like managing your time, it helps you a lot. But, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I am sorry for not posting a lot lately. Just, I've been having a lot going on. So, I'm trying to manage my time more and figure it out. But, thank you for what? But, thank you guys. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below of anything you want. And hit that subscribe button. I also have social media, I also have links to my, blah, blah. I also have links to my Tumblr, Twitter, Vine, and Instagram account down below, so go check those out, give me a follow, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!